Hi, my friends. For those of you who love the story about the monkey with the tool belt, I have another story featuring that same monkey. So I'm gonna share it with you so that you can see it too. And this one is called Monkey with a Tool Belt and the Maniac Muffins. Oh my goodness, let's find out what happens. So, Chico Bonbon had never seen a pancake do so much damage. Clark had been making breakfast and now the kitchen table had no legs and dishes were broken and syrup was everywhere and their friend Wayne was stuck to the floor. So Clark cheerfully flipped another giant pancake and knocked out part of the ceiling. Their very dense crash. Ooh, Clark was getting ready for the party he was throwing for Uncle Bill's graduation from Hotel Motel Management School. And Chico was there to help with the cooking. He was a good cook and had many great tools for cooking on his tool belt apron. He had a banana peeler, an egg squasher, a chocolate chip it spooner, corn goggles, peach pitter, gummy tongs, pruner, pointy stick, kale net, thermometer with bling, tofu toggle, donut duster, candy coated string, oh my goodness, a pickle squeezer, a brickle snapper, a bubbler, sippy straw, banana masher, mash masher, mashed potato claw, butter slapper, bean rocket, grilled grapefruit gripper, toast mitt, pepper popper, and cauliflower clipper. But Chico saw other ways he could help. The kitchen was a disaster zone. He removed a small pumpkin stuck in the drain. He rehung the pot rack and welded the chain. He removed some white chocolate from Jimmy the mouse oh, and gathered the meatballs that had rolled around the house. Clark's lemon pudding had started to stew and Chico tried stirring, but it was like glue, and the pudding was thick and the spoon was quite bent. How could lemons and sugar make rubber cement? He took out those pancakes to bust them apart. He used his large winch to put them on the cart. They were so big and heavy, he piled them in stacks. He'd deal with them better. He needed his axe. When Chico had fixed everything, he decided to start working on his famous chocolate marshmallow banana boats. Clark was working on his super secret blueberry muffins and Clark had memorized the recipe and an elephant never forgets. Well, almost never. He started adding the ingredients to the huge bowl. And Chico glanced over at Clark. Um, Clark, that seems like a lot of baking powder. I know this recipe so well, I can make these in my sleep. Clark finished the batter and poured it into a muffin tin. And he popped the tin into the oven. Now to work on my surprise. Everyone was busy in the kitchen making all kinds of treats. And a few minutes later, they heard an odd noise coming from the oven. It sounded like popcorn, really, really big popcorn. Then they heard a groaning sound, ooh, a whistling sound grinding uh, sound. And then finally, but not really surprisingly, they heard kaboom! The door blew off the oven and flew straight out the window. <gasps> the muffins began shooting out of the oven like hot little blueberry cannonballs and everybody ran for cover and the muffins had really expanded and oh my goodness, they bounced around the room and on their way to the door, the muffins took out the mixer, the sugar bowl, two chairs, a jar of sprinkles, a box of cereal, three ginger gingerbread men, and the entire spice rack. Oi, my goodness. They burst out of the door, smashed down the steps, leaving crumbs down the steps, and broke concrete everywhere. They were so bouncy and so heavy. They bounced down the street. They flattened a lawn chair. They just missed some hula hoopers and knocked down a fence. Crash! And demolished a garden gnome. Oi. The maniac muffins were out of control. They headed for Main Street and Chico chased after them. They were falling apart as they bounced, but they didn't seem to care and somebody could get hurt. Quickly, he figured out a plan. He ran back to Clark's house, finished loading the pancakes onto the cart, grabbed the lemon pudding, ate a peanut, pushed the cart downtown. He ran fast, right? He's running, run, 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 run. <gasps> he made several sawhorses with his saw, hammer, nails, and a pancake filled a pastry bag with the gluey lemon pudding. It was sticky, but smelled delicious. He glued the pancakes to the sawhorses with it, and then he squeezed the pudding out all over the front of the pancakes. Then he hid. 
Within seconds, the maniac muffins bounced around the corner and headed his way. Smash! The muffins hit the pancakes and immediately disintegrated into crumbs. Chico jumped out, rolled the pancakes around the crumbs. Uh, well, Clark's big mistake, pancakes and sticky lemon pudding, had saved them from his muffins. So try this. They all began eating the giant roll-up. It was delicious. They had created a taste sensation. Hooray, everybody yelled, spitting crumbs everywhere. Oh, oh, sorry, they said, oh, quickly covering their mouths with their paws. Oh, my goodness gracious, Clark was so glad his pancakes had saved the day. Mistakes can be so helpful, he said happily. They all returned to Clark's house, fixing the broken things along the way. Although the lawn gnome was never quite the same. Back in the kitchen, they all pitched in and cleaned up. And after repairing the kitchen, they got back to cooking. They had just a couple of hours until Uncle Bill's guests would arrive. Later at the party, all the food was great. And everyone agreed the giant pancake lemon muffin jelly rolls were a smashing success. The end. Ta-da! Now, I hope you guys, if you are making muffins, follow the recipe. Otherwise, you could have a catastrophe. But sometimes, as the book says, mistakes turn into wonderful things. So let me know what kind of amazing things, mistakes, things you learn, things you bake. Tell me about them, and I'll see you soon. Take care.